Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Profit. Today, joined by Fritz of Anomyces, checking out some West Coast Double IPA from Cellar Maker. Yes. Unfortunately, two days too old. Oh my god. 32 days oh old. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah. that's the problem with these. Another problem. They give it 30 days, They or they just recommend that you drink it within 30 days. You can do whatever you want, but uh, yeah. It has a comment here that's on the bottom of the can with the canning date, which was the 28th, which is four weeks and two days to the day. Mm. Uh, it says, 72 Jerry lives. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Jerry is but part of the... But I see Dank Williams on the label. So. But, or maybe Jerry is part of the bar staff who just got hammered at a party and never showed up. But then he came back the day after. Or he just disappeared. And that, you know, Jerry lives. Okay. Mm, maybe it's an internal know. joke. No, maybe it's know. not. So this is... But yeah, a, but yeah Dank Williams, Dank is, Williams on is on the label. So this is Terpene Station. Uh, Brett and I had this last year at our 4th of July party. Yep. And we loved it. Mm -hmm. We thought it was crazy good. Uh, so, yeah, it's got Dank Williams on the label. So I think it takes maybe inspiration from that beer. And then it's got a turtle playing a banjo. And a, a hop turtle. And that's also a Cellmaker beer, I think. So maybe I just so can't like remember a combo the name. Of... Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's so a West Coast Double IPA featuring Galaxy, Nelson, Mosaic, etc. And Centennial. Yeah. So there is some bi a bit of old school love in here yeah. as well. So 8.7%. Yeah, it's a bit high, but um, I can smell like dank hops from here. Yeah, 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 but it looks very nice in the glass. It looks yeah. kind of like that new school West Coast. It has a touch of orange on camera, but in real life with the it's light, it's just really like really bright, bright yellow. Yeah. It's maybe a, more of a golden yellow, uh, but straw colored. Yeah, and yeah. very nice high carbonation, white head. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh, ooh, yeah, it's definitely yeah. kind of. In the vein of Hop Fu, but but I smell Nelson. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. has that like diesel. -y. Yeah, it has a diesel -y dank white grape. Yeah, uh, yeah, thing. for sure. But also like tangerine and mandarin. Yeah, 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 for sure. And oh, mm, there's uh, also a yeah. touch of pineapple. I think there's definitely some pineapple, but it's like pineapple <sighs> is cushy. But one thing I'll say though, with um, I almost think Hop Fu was a bit more aromatic than this. Yeah, I think it was a bit more. I yeah. think this is a, li a little more. I'm also getting a bit of like a slightly earthy. Uh, yeah, it's it has some old school touches. It's also like a lot of oily citrus, but it yeah. smells really good. I think, you know, I think it was a, I remember it being a bit more popping Nelson forward when we had it last summer. Yeah, but I still but think. But then again, that was also a full can each yeah. almost. Yeah, and it was have. also a little bit warmer, whatever. We had loads of haze. But it also just varies from batch to batch. Yeah, yeah. but it smells really good. It's yeah. got like that grape it's very goose thing. Yes. Yeah. I think some of the spiciness is both Galaxy maybe and Centennial. Yeah. I'm not getting melon. It's funny, with Galaxy mm -hmm. and West Coast IPAs, I've never really gotten that melon thing too much. Maybe a green melon sometimes, but... Mm. I think yeah. it's definitely Mosaic, it's definitely Citra, it's definitely uh, Nelson. Nelson that yeah. is the biggest contenders on here. Yeah. It smells really nice though. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, surprisingly balanced bitterness. Yeah. It's not crazy. It's not like crazy bitter. Mm. It's definitely towards that new school, but it, mm. it finishes quite dry. It's not like cloying. It's almost got like a... There is melon character, actually, mm. isn't there? Yeah, a little bit. But it's also like... Like just tangerine, orange peel, mm -hmm. slightly earthy, diesel dank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's resin. really refreshing for an 8.7% yeah. beer. Yeah. Uh, spicy notes in there yeah, too. Yeah, a little, but little spicy. Yeah. Getting lots of white grape gooseberry. Yeah, and also a bit of uh, Type flavor is Nelson canned esque pineapple. And it's, yeah, it does have some dankness. It does have a little bit of that kind of diesel yeah. dank, cushy yeah, vibe. Absolutely. But it's not like as abundant. Hop Fu was so, quite dank. And I think, uh, um, I was about to say community property. That's a Steel Panther song. Community, uh, whatever, the anti-Instagram beer. Yeah. That was almost more dank. Yeah. And I think I'm getting to a point like what I want in West Coast IPA is, is like I want this, but I also want heavy dankness, like yeah. the kush, like. But I think with, with me, so, something like Hot Fu is just also just 
in my wheelhouse regarding ABV. Mm. It, yeah, there's just something about it when it's around like seven, seven and a half percent. That's just perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. to me. But I think it might also, you know, I don't know. I think this is an older cellar maker beer. I think it's one they've done for a while. So yeah, I don't yeah, know if they've changed. It definitely has old school flair, but with modern yeah, and, touches. Yeah. Like it has a little bit of earthiness and resiny vibes mm. and whatnot, but it's not like really heavy, piney, uh, like no, no. that kind of stuff. But, but what's interesting, the like cellar maker was doing all these beers like this before Haze got really popular. Yeah, yeah. So like it's actually not that new. No, no. When you think of it. But the new school just seems to be even more amplified in this. And yeah. it might just be hopping rates. It might just be using even more hops. Mm. Um, it, it's not crazy bitter, but it has a lot of saturation of hops still. Mm, you know, mm. It really sticks to your palate, but it's not like a medium high bitter. It's, no. Yeah. It's, it's like, like medium. Yeah. Medium. Probably. It doesn't feel much more than like 30... It's probably like forty to fifty I views mm. or something like that. Like there is a peppery bitter spice on the yeah. aperitif, but it's not like it's more like I feel it's, really it's well more balanced. saturation that it than it's actually like intense bitterness. Yeah, that kind of sticks. Um, it's interesting also with the diesely Nelson flavor really comes forward. I think here. Yeah. But without so much dankness, mm. like the more I drink it, I think the less dank it is actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of Nilsson. Yeah. And also It's almost like fruity juicy esque. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's just like a little bit more of a and a little bit more of bitterness. But I don't know, did we get that last year? Maybe we did. I don't know. Last year both of us gave it a ninety five. I do not agree with that grade right now. Mm. No, I, and I also don't think, and I like right now the benchmark West Coast, and I even rec maybe ninety four should be a ninety six, ninety seven or something like that. Like it was just such a great beer. I got to have mm. it twice, and it's like after having it the second time around, it's like why did I sell the other cans? Because <laughs> I had a four pack. Like I would have yeah. crushed all that. And people were saying like the triple IPA version, even though triple we were just against yeah, triple saying like I, it's better than Pliny the Younger. It's better yeah. than Hippie Cabbage. Uh, from slice and like that it's like one of the best west coast triple ipas ever done mm. so but we didn't get to try that but i'll say this is also really good it's more balanced new school-esque west coast double ipa and i think a lot of people who drink haze will knock this for not being scrippingly saturating because it's not like it's it's saturated but it's not like this a bursting in your face with hot flavor no and it's just not like a ton of like uh, override melon and no mango no and peaches dry and pithy and whatnot it's it's much more like yeah but also that decently dank thing and mm. slightly it also has slightly resinous mosaic-esque yeah thing. it definitely has slightly a resin piney uh i don't think so thing, but a little bit yeah yeah uh, i think a lot of people will talk about sweetness i do not think this seems crazy sweet no. it has lots of sweet hop flavor yeah but there's it's like sweet, sweet hop flavor but it's not like cloyingly sweet it finishes dry you can mm. feel it in your tongue it makes you want to drink more of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to drop it down a little bit compared to the last time and go like 90, big 93 on it. I don't want to go 94. Um, mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a touch too close to hot food because hot food was much more popular than this. Uh, not much yeah, more. And, and it just had that extra... Yeah, a little more pop. Like, but also, I just like that it has a slightly... Lower ABV. Yeah, low ABV. <laughs> and and it's, it's just I just feel like... West Coast IPAs sing more when they have a little bit more bitterness. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and also when the ABV is just a touch lower. It's just something with the malt bill and stuff that just sings a little more than... I yeah. think it depends but on they, how you do it. Like yeah, some of the highest probably. rated uh, beers we've had in terms of West Coast last year was mm. double IPAs from Slice. Yeah. There was only one single where we gave a 95 and that was Wowie Nugs. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise it was the doubles. Yeah, but I still. But they were also around that one and hippie yeah. cabbage were probably also my favorites, and that hippie cabbage was a triple, triple IPA. IPA then, so, but that we split three people. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. But I still think it's really yeah, fun. Yeah, it, dope it's, West Coast yeah. beer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing about this that is too sweet or too heavy or too you know. It's it's yeah. really diesely the more you mm. like that Nelson it's diesely grape. Diesel. It's, it's like it's, it's that diesely tropical grape, like Sauvignon Blanc grape mm. thing. 
And, yeah. and uh, there's so much of it. It's, it's, it's like this. And yeah, I feel like this, maybe like just easily wine as almost like yeah. Riesling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Riesling gasoline esque mm. character. Slice in North Park might be my favorite West Coast breweries at the moment for, for, for clear beer. So, mm. But yeah, if you guys had a chance to try some Cellar Maker beer, more specifically Terpene Station, let us know what you thought of it. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers. Yeah. And see cheers. you guys in another beer review.